Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to discuss five music blogs that you should try to get your music on. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Remember, at the end of the video, if you liked it, give the video a like. It really helps the channel out. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I do tons of videos on music business advice, and every Friday I review indie music. So let's talk about blogs. Now, music blogs are important to help your career. As you all know, a blog is basically like a, it's kind of like a magazine, especially for music. They showcase different artists, they'll do interviews and things like that. And it's kind of like an online magazine in a way, sort of. Now, it's important to get on these because a lot of these music blogs, obviously they have tons of followers, which is a great thing. Not only do they put stuff on their blogs, on like a website blog, they also have a social media following generally that has a lot of followers as well. And usually when they'll talk about an artist or they'll put something on the blog, they'll also put it on their social media accounts just to promote it so more people will come look at the blog. So you're getting promotion that way from both of those two things right there. And some of them even have curated playlists like for Spotify. So if you could get on one of their playlists that has this listener base already, that's a win-win. A now I'm going to go over five of them that I found that are pretty good. They're open to music submissions and things like that. So let's check these out. The first one is called dailychiefers.com. As you can see, it's like a standard music blog. They talk about new music coming out, new tracks. Uh, they talk about what's hot. They do interviews as well. And it's all about going to their contact us and just getting a hold of them, asking them if they, you know, you could be featured on their website, tell them what genre you are when you send them this email maybe even a link to where your music is at and see what you could get out of that because that's the best way to get a hold of them right now. Another good one, this is for hip hop artists. It's called rapfiesta.com. And this is another blog where you can see they do reviews and interviews and stuff like that. And they have a submissions link. So you click on that. And as you can see, they have... Um, the email address for submissions or it says if you wish you can reach us through the form below and then they'll ask for a song link through their form and things like that so same thing you know tell them your genre give them a link to your music and that's the best way to go these days is a link to your music don't send an mp3 they most people like to go to a soundcloud or something like that to listen to your music or a youtube link or whatever so it's best to do that these days instead of just sending a file over now the next one is called ones2watch.com. That's another same style. Discover new music, there's different genres, and there's all kinds of stuff. And again, you just contact them either through the site or social media and you know, ask them politely that you would like to be featured or an interview or reviewed or whatever and see what happens. If they don't get back to you right away for any of these, wait like a week. And then do a follow-up email asking if they had a chance to review it yet or if they had a chance to check out the music link yet. And if you don't hear back from them after that, most likely they're not interested. So don't send like a thousand emails bugging them constantly. Now the fourth one is called Cut It Out. It's cutitoutmag.com. And it says showcasing artists going against the norm. This one's kind of interesting because they like dealing with artists who, as they say, are like the genre is not really easy to figure out what kind it is and they have a whole criteria of what they want if you go to submit on the website and it base it straight up tells you what they are looking for what not to include and what to include and the criteria they like they don't take instrumental tracks they don't want covers and an important thing also i want to bring up it says here that they don't want songs eps or albums over six months old they want fresh new music and you need to think about that like a lot of artists send out stuff from like five years ago so try to keep your catalog updated and keep releasing new stuff and you'll have like a fresh catalog for these people to work with now the fifth and final one that i think is decent is called the music enthusiast and it's another great blog spot the best independent music blog to discover emerging acts 
and you just need to contact them, do the same thing, talk to them. You know, uh, how do I, how is it possible to get featured on your website or get reviewed or whatnot? Explain that you just, you're having this release either come out or it's already out and go from there and do a follow-up email if you don't hear back right away and see what happens. You know, you, it's, it's good to get your stuff out there. And like I said, a lot of these will promote on their Instagram accounts and TikToks, whatever, besides their website as well. And some have playlists that they will put music on. Another great thing. So do that. Do it now. I hope you like this quick video. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment. Have you had any luck submitting to music blogs? Did you feel like you got exposure? And what are some of the blogs you guys have used that you've had success with? Let us know in the comments. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to look below in the description under the video. There's tons of things that can help your music career out, including ebooks that you can download about music business. There's links to discounts on services like distribution, like uh, DistroKid and TuneCore and stuff like that. Bandzoogle that'll make a great artist or band website. But you got to use those links below to get the discounts to use the services. There's tons of other things down there. Just check it out. Thank you for checking out this video and I will see you next time.